the crap they know 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 the crap hello everybody how is everybody doing? I am Felicia with the Crafton Nook, and today I have another experiment. <laughs> yes, yes, honey. I love experiments, okay? So if you're not used to this channel, please, um, and, and if you've watched several videos of mine, please take a moment and subscribe. Hit your bell notification, and let's carry on, okay? I do go lives Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Um, this past Wednesday, I did an experiment trying to figure out, um, if we could have like communication Wednesdays. So, um, it went well. So on Wednesdays, Wednesdays only at five o'clock Eastern, East five o'clock PM Eastern standard time, we will be doing like communication Wednesdays, um, just talking. So I'm going to go ahead and start with this. Um, I'm going to try to paint a tree of life in here. I don't know how well it can is going to go because I don't draw very good. So I'm going to first start with um, my edge for one moment. You can just take it in the house. Um, let me pause for a second. Okay, I was saying let me pause because I wanted to get my spinner. Um, I haven't used it since I've done this uh, wine rack. And um, I was just not comfortable with using it, but I think it would come in handy with me putting in a circle. I'm trying to see which way I want to go. I think I'll start here. So I'm not going to go totally on the edge edge. But I'm going to try to go, maybe that wasn't a good idea. <laughs> like I said, I'm not a, I'm not very good with drawing. And I went on the edge. Oh my. <sighs> okay. I need to clean that part up. Let me try again. <laughs> I know y'all I know I know I've got to hurry up I'm going to try to do that line again I didn't want to go on the edge because I was figuring that I might end up having like um, air pockets and you know with the paint pen um, I've noticed I do have a little air pocket sometimes but you know it's just something that I've got to get used to a little bit. So that's why I say, you know, I experiment with this stuff and I'm going to try and see if it works, you know, the way that I plan it. Okay, I have it cleaned off now. All right, let's try this again. <laughs> and okay, so I'm just going to lay my pen here. I think I'm already starting off wrong. Concentrate, girl. Concentrate, girl. Concentrate, girl. Try to keep that line going around even, girl. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Well, I made it. I made it. <laughs> okay. This this other part is going to be hard for me too. Okay. I think I want to start maybe uh Should have probably draw this out. Okay. Oh, I'm pressing down too hard into my um mold okay i just gotta get a little bit more comfortable with it i think now 
a lot of people um, just don't do this kind of drawing or whatever. But like I said, this is just something I wanted to try. Not being sure whether it would be a great idea or not, but who can stop you from trying? Right? Okay. So I'm going to come here and back up here. I'm going to take this branch here. I know it may look like crap, okay, but I told y'all I, I, I don't draw very well, all right? Maybe, maybe back in the day I did a little something, but I don't draw anymore. I don't draw anymore. I don't do anything with, with the drawing. Okay. And what I'm trying to do is just make little lines and uh, I'm pretty sure y'all hadn't seen a tree of life look like this. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay, y'all. It's okay to, to pick at it a little bit. Don't pick at it too much. It hurt my feelings now. Nah. But it's okay. It's okay. I'll take this branch here. Honey, I'm being cautious. <laughs> I'm being cautious. Okay? I'm being cautious. Like, I love these little pins, y'all. If y'all hadn't realized it yet, I really do like them. I really do. It, it just gives you another part or something else to do, you know, with your resin art. Make it a little mess, but uh, it's okay. Now these branches aren't supposed to end up running to in in into in between each other like that. They're not supposed to run into each other. You're supposed to have it so that it will still be nice and and all that good stuff, y'all. Well. I messed that one up, but it's okay. Some trees aren't perfect, y'all. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> now, oh, I forgot I was gonna do another circle. Oh. I'm just trying to, I'm wondering, can I do it? Can I get it done? Almost, y'all. It's not so bad, is it? All right. That's my tree of life. <laughs> oh my. Oh gracious, everybody gonna peek at me. Um, I'll connect that part there. Make this come up here. All right. I'm not gonna do any more with that. All right, this was the May Spring Mystic Opal. 
um, that I made. All right, so now I have my resin ready, okay? I think I wanna go ahead and flash dry this really quick. I'm gonna be using the uh, May Spring White Chalcedony. I'm gonna mix a little bit of the Chameleon uh, Gold from Let's Resin. And I'm also gonna throw in a little bit of the Abalone, um, Abalone Shell by Blinket. So how that's gonna come out, I don't know. But we're gonna try it, all right? We're just gonna try it, see where it goes. It might, it might turn into something. I, I don't know. So flash dry, real quick, flash dry. Do a nice flash dry. All right. All right. So, like I said, I have my resin already mixed and ready to go. I am going to take a very decent amount of my white chalcedony. All right. Oh, it's about a teaspoon. And I'm going to mix this first. All right. I want to see what color that I have, you know, as I, as I go. So let me get here so you can see how, what it looks like. Trying to do this all in one shot because my last video, I completely, I edited it so wrong. Oh my goodness. That was so embarrassing. I started to just take the whole thing down, but Hey, it's a blooper. <laughs> everybody makes mistakes sometimes so you see this white chalcedony it has that goldish hue to it all right looks i i love the white chalcedony all right so i'm gonna go ahead and close that one up i try to keep my heat gun away because it just totally messed my bottle up for may spring but you know that's okay now can you see? Yeah, you can see right there. So I'm gonna take this much, about a half a teaspoon of the Chameleon, Let's Risen Chameleon. I'm gonna take that, all right? Never done this before with mixing stuff, but this is the Let's Risen Chameleon Powder Gold. All right. Oh, okay. I'm not mad at it. Okay, I'm, I'm really not. I wasn't <clears throat> quite looking for that particular color, but it does look nice, so I'm gonna keep it. I'm, I'm gonna keep that color. Yeah, I don't mind that color at all. All right, it still goes with the opulent, not opulent, oh my gracious, the mystic opal. It still goes with that. And I'm gonna add about this much of my bling it okay i'm gonna close this too so i won't mess that up and move it away so here we go we're gonna this this is actually a, a nice color um i'm experimenting so you know it doesn't have to be perfect i i do want it to look like something but it don't have to be perfect, y'all. Okay? Just come along with me on the ride with uh, experimenting. Okay, now this is <clears throat> four ounces. Okay? So I'm going to pour. going to pour, pour, pour. And I'm going to try to make sure that I don't hit my um, edges. Okay? Let's put th that. Let's put this in first. And I don't need the spinner anymore, so I should have just moved it off once I finished. Should have just went ahead and moved it. All right. Let's heat this up a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay. Don't want to heat it up too much. I did have 
my resin sitting for a second and I'm gonna use my dotting tool so I know I was away from the edges all right so I'm just gonna go around the edge the very edge okay the very edge try to make sure that I don't have anything stuck in that very edge all right um, let's wipe this off really quick all right now I'm gonna just continue to pour I think this um, this mold can hold these four ounces uh, actually it could it could have used a little bit more but you know I'm not mixing no more for an experiment I think it'll be just fine okay try not to waste resin a lot of a lot of your resin because you know I, I have a whole lot of things that I I need to do with resin you know because my channel is based around resin and right now honey I am running so far low Woo. Woo. it's a lot it's a lot honey it's a lot okay I think I got it all out um, it could use it could have used another ounce okay it really could have um, but that's all we're gonna use okay I'm not gonna go no further with that it's just gonna put this over to the side and warm this back up Okay. I'm getting it really warm because I do want to end up, uh, you know, getting this demolded sometime or today. It may not be sometime today. I don't know. But I'm getting it really warm, y'all. Really warm. Hopefully, I won't have as many bubbles either. Um, oh, I spilled some. Trying, just trying. Okay, I'm done with it. All right, totally done with it. So, I will be back when it's time to demold, and maybe that won't take as long. So, see you later in a minute. Blink of an eye. <laughs> Okay, guys, I'm back. Ah, time for the demold. I think it's ready. Oh, yeah. Now, I got to be careful because my paint on the other side. And I don't want it to just, like, go everywhere. Okay? So, I'm trying to demold this before time, but I think it's okay. Yeah, I got a lot of pinholes with this, but it it's it's kind of cute. The color is so much different than what I imagined. You know, can you see? Totally different color. Hmm, I'm I'm wondering about that. Totally different color. There's my tree. Okay. So I'm wondering, since I added so much heat, did I kind of destroy that color? But I'm gonna rinse this out and I'll be back. Okay, y'all, I'm back. And I started painting because I was so upset how it turned out with the pinholes. But I started painting on my tree of life, okay? And, you know, I told you I would rinse it out. So this is the next day. Um, I actually rinsed all the color out and so now I'm going back in with a silver, the silver testers ink, and I'm painting um, little parts in there that I want to make sure everything is, you know, covered. 
I am also going to go back and see can I you know correct these pinholes now if I can't then I won't be able to make a mold out of this and that's that's pretty much what I wanted to do I wanted to end up making a mold out of this okay so here we are that's what we're doing and um, I'm, I'm hoping to get good results when I put a little when I put a little um, resin on it to cover those pinholes I'm gonna try to do it so that I can still keep um, my indention in there because that's what I want I want to keep my indention but uh, you couldn't see the tree or anything because I had already washed the paint out um, from the paint pen and so this is a uh, um, I'm just going correcting some things and you know since this is uh, something I was just trying to do I'm gonna continue to try to get this painted now it is kind of difficult getting the paintbrush to go in these lines from the paint pen I mean it's, it's not that bad but you know it's it's tedious enough that you want to make sure that um you don't try to use a quick resin like i did i tried to use it quick because i wanted the video to you know kind of go fast uh but i still end up you know i'm doing more work than if i used what i normally use then I wouldn't have to go through this with these pinholes and things. So, if you try it, just learn from my mistakes, okay? Try to go with a resin that you know is going to do what you want it to do. Instead of trying to be fast and get the video done, like just take and take your time and use the resin that you want to use to make sure that you don't have these pinholes like this because the resin that I used um, it's not a bad resin but I kind of waited till the end to like mix everything up and pour it in so but I will be correcting it with a different resin I was just trying to save resin because, you know, I'm literally at my end with, with my resin, so. I was trying to save my good stuff. <laughs> trying to save my good stuff, y'all. Okay. But sometimes, if you want to do something, you do it right the first time and don't worry about you know what you have left or what you got to do or and all of that stuff because like I said this was only four ounces that I used for this and being that I used only four ounces you know I could have just went ahead and did it right the first time and used the four ounces from my good resin but I didn't so I will be correcting it. Now this part, maybe I should use my dotting tool, but you can see the tree. It looks nice. You can see that it's actually a tree and you know, the May spring, it does its own effects, you know? So I like that part. Let's see, let's get the dotting tool and let me see, will I be able to most of it I think I can use this in so I'm gonna try I'm gonna try I know I'm spinning y'all around and all kind of stuff <laughs> I'm so sorry <laughs> so sorry but I I think the biggest thing is that I really wanted you to see all of the mistakes that I've done and everything so that you won't have to make this mistake 
I don't want you to go through that. And see, I learn from my own mistakes too. I do. Every time I do something I'm and I'm experimenting, I'm doing it so that I can see, you know, how it will come out, what effects that it will do. Um, what's the what's the end result? Is what I want to know. What is the end result? And uh, I'm hoping that you can see me use this dotting tool to go in these little creases here. In my hands, oh gracious. Uh, another way to do this, I, I didn't have to use the testers um, model paint, but I didn't want to use the regular paint and I don't know I just you, you could you can just use the paint leave it up for up there for a few minutes and wipe it off but with the pinholes I didn't want to use the paint because I didn't want the paint to go inside of those pinholes and then I have like this total mess okay so I just wanted you to see what I was doing Oh gosh I wanted you to see what I was doing but I'm gonna continue to go around with my circles and everything and I'll be right back when I get ready to put on the resin okay I'm back and I have everything painted have my glove on because and and I did flash dry this with my heat gun so that the testers paint won't exactly get messed up I have some resin mixed already just gonna take my finger and I'm gonna just go in here and try to fill these holes okay I don't want to you know take away from my indention but I'm going to try and see can I attempt to get everything you know kind of leveled out I don't want a whole lot up here either okay so I'm just going in and making sure that I kind of rub really hard to make the resin soak into those pinholes and at the same time I'm trying to rub it so that it won't you know exactly leave from well I won't keep it into the indentions because I want to keep those you know you have a self-leveling resin um it can't you can tend to uh it'll all level out and i i don't want that i want to keep those indentions there so as i'm rubbing i'm just making sure i go back and forth back and forth back and forth to get rid of those pinholes okay and yes my hand my other hand is just not covered up but I will take and get that taken care of too. So as I'm rubbing this, making sure everything gets in, it's doing nice. I'll stand up and um, get, get you a little closer so that you can see that those pinholes are filling up. Okay. It's, so let me get it at an angle or something. I don't know if you can see that or not, but I had a lot of pinholes right here and I, I got them, you know, slowly they're filling in, all right? So I'll keep doing this same thing, you know, making sure that it is rubbed in I want to keep my indentions, remembering to keep my indentions, you know, which is the tree itself. I want to keep that. I want to make sure that that don't, you know, fill up. Because eventually I want to make a mold from this tree of life I've done. Okay. 
So I'm just trying to be careful that I don't go over the edge. I do have some um, latex that I could have used, but you know, <laughs> I didn't want to wait for it to dry. Okay, so that's why I'm doing what I'm doing. All right. And those holes, they're getting so filled up and it's looking nice. It's doing what I want it to do. And all I would have to do is just, you know, let it dry. Let it dry. And I didn't need all the resin that I, I made, but you know, I'm not used to filling pinholes either. Okay, I'm gonna take this and kind of like let it lay on my hand because I'm getting to the part, you know, that it is just totally um, covered. Right? I'm trying to soak it in there good. Get rid of those pinholes, honey. Make them disappear. And so far, it looks like I do have them gone. Okay. And I'm still going to go around. Go around, go around. Make sure all of them is gone. I'll go one way. I'll come back and go the other way. Just to be sure. Okay. So now I'm going to go this way. Okay, I'm going to go back this way again, just to be sure. Now, my indentions, they're not going to be as thick as I wanted them to be, but they're still there. Okay, they're still there. I'm just going to wipe. so I can try to get it from out of the groove now I don't know if this is gonna work okay so I may have to do just a whole nother one and that's that's what I'm thinking but at least I have a general idea of what I can do if I get a pinhole okay so it is covered all right, it is covered. Make sure my edges are nice. Like they don't still have resin dripping down the side or, or anything. I'm just taking my hand and going around. I'm looking at it and it looks like everything is filled. All right. Looks like everything is filled. So what I'm going to do, add a little bit of heat to it. I need to wipe my hand off a little bit. Although there aren't any bubbles, I'm still going to add a little bit of heat. Okay. So that everything can just soak in those pinholes. I'm just wiping my hand right now. Let me move this to the side. for a moment because it, it looks like it has dimples but I don't think it has any dimples I think I'm just looking at the effects that the that everything caused so I'm going around again being that I got my heat up there okay Not something that I'm used to, but we're trying it. Because I had a lot of pinholes. 
a lot. Okay. So I think that this is good enough. I kind of want to add some more to it, but I will be getting my indentions. My indentions will just totally disappear. But it would look like 3D-ish, you know. So, I'm thinking maybe I should just go ahead and put it up there. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. I'll change my mind in a heartbeat. All right. I hate that I'm doing this because I it defeats the purpose of my indentions. But this is something that I will have to do over again. Okay. Something that I would have to do over again. And I, I guess I just won't mind. Because I, I, I'd rather do it again than to have a piece of work that just totally has all of these pinholes on them. And it's no way near cute. So, I think that's good. So, I'm going to add a bit more heat again. Just to make sure. And I still need to put a little more on there oops my heat gun fell I couldn't pick it up because I was like I ain't picking it up from the wrong place the wrong side okay think it'll be okay think it'll be okay I just need to look across I'm gonna leave it I am gonna leave it oh my attachment fell off y'all <laughs> cuz it looks like I got like something is not right like it still need more resin it's gonna pour. see what happens then <laughs> see what happens y'all Let it level itself. And I guess once it level itself, then I'll be satisfied. Now you see how I got a little bit of the um, I got a little bit of the tester's ink trying to rise. So it wasn't solely dry. trying to make sure everything is nice it looks that way alcohol 
there. Now I shouldn't have no bubbles or anything. So I'll be back when it's time for you to see the outcome. Okay. This is total, total. Uh, it's pretty much what you're going to see for the outcome. Okay. It's not going to be anything different besides it'll be dry. So um, better yet, what I'll do is show this on another video, but at least I showed you how to cover the pinholes. And for the next video that I do, I'll make sure that um, I show the uh, results of this. Okay. So um, thanks you guys for watching on my experiment. I love experimenting. Um, if you like to experiment as well, you know, let me know. Let me know that that's something you interested in. You like doing yourself. So I will be talking to you later. I'm going to zoom in. Zoom in. That's the furthest I can get it zoomed. Okay. That's what you can see. The tree of life that I made. So y'all have a wonderful day. Bye. Okay, y'all. I'm back. Never mind this up here. That's something for my life. Okay, so I end up having to cover the whole thing up. All right. So now what I'm going to do is just go around my edges with my pen. Okay. I'm going to go around my edges with my pen, paint the sides. Um, because this, this is still usable. Okay. It's still usable. And I think that it's okay. Now it did not turn out like I wanted it to turn out, but I'm still, I'm still okay with it. It was an experiment. And with this experiment, everything pretty much went almost as planned besides me you know wanting to keep my intentions okay I really wanted to keep my intentions because I felt like um, that was the purpose I was doing it for I wanted to keep my intentions but I will have to redo this once again <laughs> because um, it's, it's like uh, it didn't turn out the way I wanted it to turn out all right I had to end up feeling it all the way and now it's a smooth surface versus me having my dents in there okay so I just have to I didn't mean to lean back because I, I know you couldn't see that way but I am going around my edges, painting those as well. Um, it just didn't turn out the way I thought it was, y'all. Gracious. Like, only if I've used the right resin from the start, then it would have. So I'm going to do this again because I was just trying to save resin because I was um, I still am nearly out but I do have some coming I just don't know when it's coming alright so I'm just gonna carry on keep going around going around and hopefully when I do the next tree of life I will have those indentions and um, possibly another color too. As you know, I mix this color. And I mean, it's okay. It's okay, but it's not the color I was going for. Um, just last minute stuff, y'all. Last minute stuff is what I do. Last minute. So I do have, you know, like drippings from the top coat, okay? But I don't mind that either because the ruggedness, I like it. 
I, I like it being rugged, okay? So, this is the outcome, y'all. This is the outcome. All right? So, maybe on the next one that I try, it won't be so... It'll be what I want, okay? Because I'm going to try again. I'm going to try again very soon, possibly today. I don't know. I might. So, I would like to know your thoughts on my tree of life. Okay? I'd like to know your thoughts on it. And would you have done something differently? That's pretty much what I want to know. So, I will be getting back with you all. I hope you like it. Comment. Um, tell me what you would do different. I know what I would do different. Because <laughs> I'm going to do it again. I know what I would do different. But uh, this is the outcome, y'all. So, if you'd like to become a member of this channel, the information will be in the description. If you'd like to buy me something off of my wish list, my Amazon wish list, that is also in the description. And... If you like to donate, that's fine. You can donate by way of PayPal, um, Cash App, Venmo. All of that information is in the description. And your donations will be well appreciated. So, I thank you all. I thank you all for being here for me, supporting me. Okay? So, you all have a nice, wonderful day. Bye-bye.